Hey you guys, this is your girl Beauty with Mika and I'm going to declutter eyeshadows and pigments and glitters all of what's in this drawer and I also have pigments in this drawer. I'm not going to decolor liners and lip glosses but definitely this container and this one. So I'm going to go ahead and lay everything out from drawer to drawer and let's go ahead and get started. I will give you guys a heads up, this is going to be a fairly long video. All right, you guys, so I definitely want to use this. Um, this is actually a eyeshadow organizer from Sunny Cosmetics. It was on sale for $59. I believe it holds like 72 eyeshadows, but I want to put it in the eyeshadow drawer, and I want to get rid of tons of eyeshadows. So I'm going to do a separate um, decoloring video on just ColourPop shadows, but I'm going to go through these and these and pigments and everything. Pigments, I know, are going to have to stay loosely in this, but if I can just eliminate some of these eyeshadows, that would be great this is gonna be definitely hard because I am such an eyeshadow person so let's get started now this is the Charlotte Tilbury um, this is her eyes to mesmerize Cleopatra cream shadow um, I'm definitely not getting rid of this one this one was um, Jackie Ina did a video on this and this sucker costs almost $40 so yeah this is definitely staying now I recently did get these from Influencer, these are the L'Oreal um, Color Riche eyeshadows. This is a base eyeshadow. Sorry, I'm thinking one of my kids are up, but again, I'm mixed up with the neighbor's kids. If I could just open this. Now, eyeshadow bases, I definitely like to keep for sole purposes. I can put this all over eye and I can use this to highlight, so that's staying. And this one is more of a, like a bronzy color. This one's called Pan and Chocolate. So I wanna actually swatch it if I can hmm. I don't need that one so I can go I'm using my Mac wipes this one is from Catrice and this is a matte velvet eyeshadow this one is in the shade all burgundy Oh yeah, I'm keeping that one. That one I definitely like. These were the these are which Nick still sells these. These are their um prismatic um eyeshadows, and this one's in bedroom eyes. As you can see, I never even opened these. I ordered these through Ulta. Never opened them, never used them. So not sure how I feel about these. And how to, oh, okay. This is just a bronze copper color, which I feel like I have some of, but because it's so pigmented, I'm going to keep that one. And this is another one. This one's in Punk Heart. I told you guys, um, eyeshadows are going to be hard to get rid of, but I have tons of palettes, so it doesn't make any sense for me to keep the eyeshadows. And that's what that looks like. That one is similar, but that one has a really nice pop to it, too. This is a mineral blush, which should not be in here. Alright, so this is a Wet n Wild Color Iconic. And I just picked this one up because I think it was $0.99. Cent, so this one definitely could go. It, I didn't even swatch it. And the shade... What's the shade of this one? Nutty. So, yeah, that's going to go. Let's see. This one I'm definitely going to keep. I have bought this one on my own. This is a Color Riche eyeshadow from L'Oreal. And this is in the shade Teal. I love teal eyeshadows. Um, so anytime I see a rich teal color, I'm always like, oh, let me pick it up. I need to have it. So that's what that looks like. And it has like an iridescent look to it. Let me swap. Okay, now some eyeshadows I picked up from Shea Moisture. This one is called Sandstone. And it's almost cracked, but this one is good as a neutral transition shade. So I know I'm keeping that one. I'm pretty much going to keep all of these. This one is Hannah. And this one is Lily. And I'm definitely going to do like an eyeshadow look with those three. Now over to the Urban Decay. This one, I think I got it like as a gift with purchase or something, but it's called Mildew. And it's just a, a green color, like a moss green. I can go without that one. I've held on to that one for so long and never used it. This one is called Rockstar. I know I'm not getting rid of this one from Urban Decay. 
Um, I actually need to learn how to depot Urban Decay shadows. So that one's Rockstar. This one I'm definitely not getting rid of anyway. It's Hyatt. And again, here go those teal blues. So not getting rid of that. Okay. And this one is called Deep End. Not getting rid of this one either. And this one is called Tonic. I'm not getting rid of these. So I'm not getting rid of the Urban Decays. So I'm not getting rid of the Shea Moistures. Now let's look into these Stila's. I purchased these off Holt Look for $10. So yeah, let's look and let's see about these. This one is called Aquamarine. This has a glitter. Yeah, that one can go. This one is called Coco. Aquamarine was not what I thought it was going to be. And Coco is just a soft brown. This one is a deep burgundy, deep burgundy, deep burgundy or purple. This one's called Indigo. Excuse me, it's my lighting's off, you guys, in this corner. That is such a deep color. Oh my God, I'm going to have fun with that one. So that's what that looks like. Now, over here, these are the Artisy N eyeshadow colors. I seen Jacqueline Hill do an eye look with these two shades like two years ago or something. And I picked these up during a Sephora VIB holiday sale. So I definitely know I'm going to keep these. I don't need to swatch them. But if you're wondering about the shade, let's see. This one is Royal. And this one is Orchid. And I like purple, so those are definitely not going anywhere. Now, these are the Kat Von D eyeshadows. I'm not getting rid of any of the Kat Von D's. This one is called Raw Power. And these you can currently buy. This one is called, um, what is this one called? Trasher. And I've worn Trasher before. Oh my god, that one is such a good, like, neon color. So if you're looking for something fun, that would be it. Now here's her other three shades that I'm not going to get rid of. This one is called Paranoid. The green is called Iggy. And this purple is called Dang, Dang it. Dangzing. So that's what that looks like. So none of the cap on these are going. Now moving on to... Alright, so moving on to this. These are the L'Oreal um, Infallibles. Let's go ahead and get started because it's hard for me to get rid of any of the L'Oreal Infallibles. This shade, I can definitely get rid of. This one is called With a Twist. And it's a soft pigment, but I feel like with a lot of the colory shadows, I don't need any more. So I'm getting rid of this one. This one is called With a Twist. Now this one is called, it's a Purple Priority. So I'm definitely going to keep that one. Now these next two. This one I've done a look before. This one is called Endless Sea. And these. I feel like I'm going to end up taking these and crushing them into a pigment form. Instead of an eyeshadow form. Because they work better. Um. They work better suited to me, at least that way. This one is a gray. This one is called Liquid Diamond. And if they have the cap on it like this, that lets you know I have not used it. So I'm just going to swatch Liquid Diamond. And see, you can tell that they're... I don't hardly ever touch these. But Liquid Diamond, definitely a keeper. Now, from the looks of it, I can tell you guys, I am going to keep this green. I don't even need to swatch it. This one is Golden Emerald. That's what that looks like. This one is called Amber Blush. And I was looking for this and realized I actually have bought it. I'm going to just swatch that one for you guys. This one's like a coppery color. So, if you're looking for any copper type of colors that would be it and that's what that looks like on me 
Now this one is called um, Glistening Garnet. This is a burgundy and I've used this one before also. I've actually mixed it with a purple and this one's come out really pretty. All right, you guys, so the last shade we stopped at, I had to fix the lighting. This one is called Glistening Garnet. And that's what that looks like. I don't need to swatch that one. So that one's a keeper. This one is called Cherry Amir. It's an orangey color. I'm not sure about that. Let's see. Yeah, I can get rid of that one. It's a coral type of color, but... Hmm. Yeah, I can get rid of it. I can pass that one along. Alright, the next shade is called Midnight Blue. I can tell you guys again, this one is definitely not going anywhere. That's so pretty. And with the infallibles, you could crush these into pigments like I keep saying. So that's what I think I'm going to end up doing. This one is called Burst Into Bloom. And if it comes with the lid like that, that lets you know I haven't touched it. That's how it looks. And that's how that one looks. I can actually play with that one, so I'm going to keep it. I actually like it. Let me show you guys. It looks better than with a twist. So this is Burst Into Bloom, and this is with the twist. And with the twist, it's like too, too glittery. And they pretty much look the same, too. So, if anything, I am going to keep Burst Into Bloom. And still get rid of with the twist. Alright, so the next shade I'm going to think about is Infinity Sky. And I remember when I was purchasing these, I love these so much. But I never used all of them. I just like the texture of them. And that one is a keeper. That is Infinity Sky. The next blue is called Timeless Blue Shark. That's how that looks. That one's definitely, oh my god, that, I would be crazy to get rid of that. So that one is Timeless Blue Sky. If you guys want to see a full swatch video on any of these, let me know. So the next shade is called, um, what is this? It's a purple. I don't even want to butcher the name, but that's what it looks like. And I don't need to swatch it. And this one is a deep, it's called Smothering Plum. I thought that one was really pretty myself. So yeah. And that is a very dark, deep purple. I can mix that base. I can use this as a base or even use it as a smoky eye. So that is it for this. I'm going to do a separate color pop just overall um, declutter video. So look out for that coming soon. I'm going to go ahead and put these up and then get started on these right now. All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and get started with these sections right here. This is the e.l.f. Jackie Ina palette. Um, I'm not getting rid of this one, so this one's definitely a keeper. These, I'm going to start off with these over here and then move down because these are pigments. So I'm just going to start off with shadows first and then move to pigments last. So we can do this and this. This one is, it's just a dark, dark, dark dare. It's just a simple black and I feel like because I have so many blacks, this is an extra dimension shadow for MAC. I don't need this one. I have so many black shadows. And I don't see the point of the extra dimensions anymore. This one is another bronze. This is called Havana. And this one's also an extra dimension shadow. And I'm going to swatch it. Because I really don't see. Yeah, see, that doesn't do anything for me. So that one can go. This one is a blue from um, extra dimension. And this is called Luna. Now, it's crazy because I actually really do like this one. So, I'm going to keep that one. And this one is an extra dimension. No, this is just the eyeshadow. This one's called Contrast. I actually need to depot this. 
this is something I'm going to have to depot and just put it in. And it feels dry. Is this a matte base? No, it's just a regular eyeshadow, but it feels so dry. And you know what? I don't need it. I can, I can do without. So, bye-bye. It's getting easy. It's getting easy. So these are pigments. I'm going to wait on the pigments. And we're going to finish up with the shadows. So this one, I know that I'm not going to read. This one is from the Electric Cool Collection. This is called Fashion Circuit. And this one is like a really soft press pigment. But look at that blue. Man. Can I get rid of No. Nip, your stain. Now... This one is called Day Gleam. I picked this one up last year. Um, it was included in my Vegas anniversary vlog. I remember I was six weeks pregnant with the twins and I picked this up. This was on my list and I picked this up from the OCC. It was only $15 and it was on my wish list for Eon. So this one's definitely staying. We do have this one. I'm going to get rid of this one. This is called um, Stylishly Mary. Stylishly Mary was from a holiday collection. And I don't remember which one, but I don't need it. See how that looks? It actually reminds me of a L'Oreal Infallible that I just watched previously. So, I kind of want to keep it. I'm going to put it in the maybe. Now, this one is definitely not going to get rid of I love these little press ones. This one is called Highly Charged. And this is just from the Electric Cool Collection. So, that one is definitely staying. This one is from the Marilyn Monroe collection. This is called Perfectly Preferred Blonde. And this is just the eyeshadow. I can actually get rid of it because see how sparkly that is? I don't need it. And it's just too glittery and sparkly for me. So something else that I'm going to keep, again, from the Electric Cool. This is Coral Coil. And that's a bronzy color. Actually, I can get rid of it. I have something similar. So, hey, I'm getting good. I'm getting good. But then I'm like, can I do a color with... No, get rid of it, Tamika. <laughs> so, this one, I'm definitely... I don't even need to swatch this one, but I'm going to get rid of it. This is called Divine Blue, and this is from um, a collection. I'm not even sure which one. But it's so pigmented. I don't even need it. This one's going too. So let's get started with some more eyeshadows. I do have some eyeshadows right over here that I'm going to get started. Then I'll do pigments. So this is from the NARC Christopher Kane collection. This is Outer Limits. Oh my God, I'm so glad I found this because I was going to so rebuy it. And I'm glad I didn't. So that's what that looks like. And that's what it looks like in a way i feel like i don't need this one um just because of how glittery it was and now that i swatched it i realized i really don't need it so i'm just gonna get rid of this one also i know you guys are like what she is out of her mind but yeah some things you just after you swatch them you realize like why do i even need it i had it on my wish list and i know my sister had talked to me about it but i don't even need it i may even text her and ask her did she get it because if she didn't i'll send it to her this one is a eyeshadow. It's called Mekong. And it's a bronzy brown color. Don't need it. And this is from NARS. Nope, I didn't need that one. Alright, now this is the Melt Stacks. And this is in Love Sick. And... This is what lovesick looks like. Now, I did play around with this shadow. I really did like the reds, but I need to play around with the, the red, I mean the coral and the purple. I need to use this more because Mill is coming out actually with a new metal shadow that I definitely want to keep. And they have another neutral shadow palette that I definitely want to buy. I feel like it's not worth it, but I do want to get it. So, that's something. So, okay. Now let's get started with this container right here. This is from Delta Color. I use I picked this up during the IMATS, during my IMATS haul. And it comes with a it's a ideal duo. So you get a loose pigment and a primer. And I'm just gonna show you guys. I got two of them. 
So this is the blue. I don't need to open them. And I got this eyeshadow from Sugar Peel. I've been wanting this one for years. This is counted, so I'm definitely keeping that one. Now these are the Makeup Geek um, pressed pigments. This is Halo and this is Constellation. These are her sparklers. I'm keeping these actually. I'm not going to get rid of them. I haven't opened them yet because they are fairly messy, but I'm definitely keeping these. Now glitters, I'm gonna get rid of all my glitters. Um, I don't use, these are from Coastal Scents. I know I'm not gonna use glitter no time soon. So yeah, all these glitters I'm gonna get rid of. Even this one, which is from OCC and I got for free. So glitters are going. This one is, these two are also again from Dose of Color. This one is called Marion. And that's the one thing I do like at, um, at IMS. We got to swatch these. So I did pick up this one and it has the pigment at the bottom. And then this one is called Mermaid. And this is just a pretty green teal. So got rid of another container. Okay. Now let's go over to this section. Um, these are Max Press Pigments Glitters and there's one Kat Von D. So this one is called Copper and this is a press pigment from MAC. I am not getting rid of the majority of my MAC press pigments. I can tell you guys now. That one's stain. This one is called, what is this one? Melon. And these you can get at MAC for like $10. So definitely keeping that one. This one I'm keeping also. This one is called old gold ten dollars at mac those are like the little travel ones this is part of their holiday collection one of their holiday collections this is a pigment it's called blue noir i remember i swatched this one i got this at the occ it came with like the old vintage set so that one's a keeper this one i'm not sure if i really want to keep this one but it's a pigment and it's a white pigment i'm gonna keep it because i know i could do something with it but yeah it's just called exactly what it is white now this one is a glitter and I'm not a fan of glitters but I'm going to keep this one for some reason to play with the glitter and it's a dark glitter. The name on here is called, what is the name? Wren. And that's a pretty glitter. This is another pigment and this one is called Deep Blue. So keeping that. This one is another pigment, and this is called Dark Dark Soul, and this is a very black pigment. It's, yeah, this one is like deep black. This is a Kat Von D shadow um, pigment. She doesn't even sell these anymore. This is called Lady Hawk, and I picked this one up in Sephora maybe three years ago for $7, so I'm definitely going to keep that because I do like pigments. And this is Max Blue Brown, which I'm keeping. And this is Max Naked that I'm keeping. So these are all stained. I want to start. This is another pigment from Mac. This one is called Heritage Heritage Rouge Stain. This one was from the Rocky Horror um, Collection. This one I'm definitely keeping. This one is called what the heck is this name? It's not easy having having a good time. Stain. This is a pigment also from MAC. This one is called Whisper Pink. This is a glitter. I'm definitely going to get rid of this gold. No, I'm going to keep this gold glitter. This will be good for holiday. And this one is called Tan. A lot of the pigments from MAC I purchased myself, so I know I'm keeping them. This one is called um, English Gold. Stain. This one is called violet ten dollars at mac these little ones you can purchase for ten dollars this one is also a pigment it's a brown pigment it's called deep brown and this one is called lit and this one is called rose rose i have used in the video it's so good these two glitters um i'm gonna keep only because i do like the shades and i know i'm gonna use these the most this one is called Rain's Riches and the gold one is called Pretty Pretty It Up. So, yep, those are all stained. Now we have one more drawer to go. I'm gonna put these back as organized as possible and then come back to you guys and show you guys what the next drawer looks like.
All right, you guys, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with these two sections of the drawer. These have eyeshadows and pigments in them, so I'm just gonna go through them briefly. From the looks of it, Makeup Geek, I'm keeping. So these are all Makeup Geeks right here. These are just all Makeup Geeks. I'm not gonna even rush through them. I'm keeping all my Makeup Geek pigments and um, sparklers. So I don't even know why I took these out, but yeah, I'm keeping the Makeup Geeks for sure. I'm not getting rid of any of my Makeup Geeks. That's You guys know how I feel about Makeup Geeks, so it is what it is. Um, so this is all Makeup Geek. This is a Kat Von D eyeshadow. This, this one, I'm, I'm just not, ugh, I'm not even sure. It's in the color Shifter, which is to me like a blue brown. And actually I can get rid of it. So yeah, Shifter is going. So I did good. I'm doing, I'm doing good. I'm doing just the way I like it. I'm getting rid of some and many and I don't need to keep them. Now these over here are a lot of my color tattoo pigments. These are all color tattoo pigments. I can tell you now I'm going to keep all my pigments from color from um, Maybelline. But let's see. Now these are my elf pigments and I really don't need these at all. So I'm actually going to give these away I could tell you now I'm gonna get rid of glamorous which is a pinky um I'm gonna get rid of wild which is it's a mineral eyeshadow so yeah I'm gonna get rid of that one too and I'm gonna get rid of royal which is like an iridescent and I'm also gonna get rid of the no I'm gonna and I'm gonna get rid of the silver which is called smoldering so I got rid of a total of four of the elf uh, mineral eyeshadows so good so that is it you guys i'm gonna come back show you guys what i was able to compile and and create the drawer So, all right, you guys, so this is what was left from all of my, I'll call it drugstore and high-end eyeshadows and pigments. These are all the MAC pigments right here. These are some more MAC pigments along with um, a Kat Von D pigment. The pigments only could fit in this container, and I got this container at TJ Maxx or Home Goods. These are $5.99. I'll post the link to the Amazon below. These fit, these are the only ones that could fit in the Sunny Cosmetics organizer. So I put all my L'Oreal infallibles on this side. These are my NYX. These are some more Max. And these are my Urban Decays right here. These are my Artist CNs. So I was able to fit like two of these. And then this is just that one um, eyeshadow I got from Ulta. These are all my color pops. So this one is going to go in the Alex organizer. Now, as far as what I got rid of, this is everything that I got rid of. Now, I did do a separate video doing a declutter on the color pop um, shadows. I'm not sure how that video is going to turn out, but I'll definitely post it. You guys will see it if it does come out good. But I am so happy because I got rid of a lot of shadows. Um, and I was just like going for it. So that is it you guys i hope you guys enjoy this decluttering i think i'm almost done with decluttering i'll let you guys know soon if you guys don't see any more then you guys know i'm done if you do to go ahead and let me know if you guys want to see some more because i'm looking in these drawers i've already done lipsticks with you guys and stuff so i may have one more declutter video coming up not sure maybe on blushes i think i'm gonna do blushes next but that is it. I hope you guys don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you guys want to see more videos. If you guys have any videos that you guys want to see from me, any tags, let me know in the comment section below. Until then, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.